Hi. It's Tuesday night, quarter to eleven, and I'm coming to you in this very unglamorous fashion. My hair is still wet from a shower I just took, and I'm wearing my old-fashioned boy sweater uh, that was a Christmas gift from a dear friend, so it's special to me, and I, I like to wear it. But it's not glamorous, so... Um, why am I on here? I wanted to talk about change, change in life. Um, it's been on my mind lately, especially today. Um, I remember when I was watching The Lion King years ago, and there's this part where Mufasa says to adult Simba, um, change is good. And Simba says, yeah, but it's not easy. And uh, I know that's such a simple way to put it, but I, it resonated with me then and it resonates with me now. If you think about gender transition as change, um, it's hard. If you think about a job transition as change, it's also hard. If you think about moving from one town to another, that's change and that's hard or starting a new relationship or ending an old relationship. These things are change and, and they're all hard. Um, but, you know, they're good too. Change is good. I think change is the only thing in life that you can count on. <laughs> the only thing that you can ever uh, know to be true is that things are going to change in one way or another. Nothing is static. Nothing stays the same. Um, everything is falling apart if you listen to Tyler Durden. But I don't so much these days anymore. I try to listen to myself. I'm going through a change right now that's um, taking a lot out of me. Um, I started a new job. I started a new job a couple of weeks ago. Um, I'm working for Amazon now. Yay! Which is pretty cool. And uh, um, it's a change, um, because I, I'm no longer doing my independent game development, um, which is what I've been doing for the past year since I moved to Seattle. Uh, and that's on the shelf for now. Um, I'm working downtown and I, uh, I, I hate driving to work. I hate driving to work and back. I hate sitting in traffic. I hate spending money on gasoline. I hate the fact that I'm polluting the air. I hate the fact that I'm sitting in the car all alone, not carpooling. You know, I had this life in Copenhagen where I was just biking and taking the bus and walking everywhere. And it's been really hard to have that life since I've come back to the States, but I really want it again. So I've been bussing back and forth to work. Um, so it's been a rough schedule these last couple of weeks. Uh, I live in a town called Shoreline, which is about 30 miles north, uh, maybe 25, 20, 20 miles north. I don't know, somewhere. You can Google it. Um, it's uh, north of downtown, and it takes a while on the bus to get back and forth. It takes about an hour to an hour and a half from the time that I leave to the uh, leave my starting point to the time that I arrive at my destination, and I um, I'm trying to I'm trying to start this job on the right foot, so I'm really trying to be there early. I'm trying to be there, you know, by nine or nine thirty at the latest, and that requires me to be out of the house by about eight o'clock in the morning. Um, and keep in mind that for the last couple of years of fighting depression on and off, it's been hard for me to wake up before nine o'clock. Um, so the fact that I'm getting up at six in the morning, having breakfast, showering, feeding my cat, um, taking my morning pills, and actually getting out of the house to catch this bus, uh, that's a big deal for me. And it's a big change. Um, so, you know, it's exhausting. Not to mention that by the time I finish work and I get home, uh, I really only have time to sort of eat the dinner that's been prepared for me by my parents and dilate and then go to sleep. So 
I'll let you guess what I just did and what I'm going to do next tonight. Um, so I think one of the things is, that's especially hard about gender transition is that it's such a big change and it's a big change that uh, it's hard to be taught what the change is going to be like. It's really only something that you can experience for yourself. Um, and uh, uh, I mean, change is, it's just hard. I, I don't, I, I, I can't help but just drive that point home tonight. It's just all I, all I can fixate on this evening. Um, change of any kind is hard. And, uh, so I, I know that, I guess, I guess why I'm making this video is like for the last few days, you know, this, this schedule of getting up so early, going and working my butt off all day and getting home quite late with chores to do and painful chores. Um, you know, it's been, it's been exhausting. It's just been really hard to do. And, um, I know that it's not going to be this way forever because like all things, this is going to change too. I know that I'm going to be moving to a place in the queer district of Seattle that is closer to my work so that I can walk or bus every day. Um, that's going to reduce my travel time by uh, 60%. So it'll take me 30 minutes to get back and forth from home and work instead of an hour to an hour and a half. Um, and keeping that future in mind and remembering that it's going to happen because I know I'm going to see that through. Um, it's hard to keep that in perspective when you're in the day to day grind. It's hard to be able, it's hard to see past this point, you know, because this is what's around you and this is what we get fixated on. This is what our life experiences on a day-to-day -day basis and every day is special and every day is important. Um, but I guess no day is perfect unless you're extremely lucky or privileged or um, on drugs <laughs> or you just have that kind of outlook. You're just, uh, you're just able to look at the world in that way. And I'm not a person that can do that all the time. I'm easily frustrated. And, um, so I wonder how you can all apply this to your own lives. Uh, the concept of change and knowing that it's going to be there. Um, no matter what else happens, it can be an incredibly positive force or an incredibly negative one. It can be destructive and creative. And um, you can't make it go away. So I'll leave you with that tonight. And um, I'll see you next time.